Right, so if you have read and understood considering this surgical pathology patient, kindly tell me what are your differential diagnosis for this particular patient? Uh, this may be a case of infective endocarditis, maybe due to uh, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, rheumatoid heart disease, maybe due to uh, respiratory, simple respiratory tract infection, and uh, maybe due to uh, uh, valve involvement of the aorta. Uh, this is simple uh, uh, fever, oh, maybe yes. simple common flu viral infection. Viral, viral fever, okay. Good. A chest yes. infection, pneumonia. All anything. right, okay. Can you please tell me how would you confirm your diagnosis? After taking the history and examination, I will yes. do the uh, lab test and uh, I will auscultate first of all uh, that uh, any murmur, any chest infection is there, then I will do the lab investigation, blood see complete blood picture, C-reactive protein, blood culture. What is one particular test that you Eco will Echocardiogram. Echo which will help you in diagnosis. All right. What yes. would you see on echocardiogram? Echo right. I will uh, check the valve status. And that is either it is regurgitated or either it is stenosis. What is the uh, ejection velocity? If it, uh, it is uh, in regurgitation, it is uh, maybe 2.5. Uh, All right. In... Can you please tell me uh, if you have to confirm your diagnosis that it is infective endocarditis, what criteria would you consider? It is the deep criteria. That is the, yes. either the two major criteria or, or uh, five minor criteria, either two major criteria, one mi major criteria or three minor criteria or all the five minor criteria. All right. If blood culture is done, what do you expect the result to be? Uh, it may be... Uh, Organism are involved like staphylococcus or viridin streptococcus. How many, how many blood cultures? Two blood cultures? Positive Just two blood cultures. Yes. Uh, positive for the uh, organism related to infective or uh, endocarditis or coxylobernity test. Or tell me or more. And. 12 hours apart. Two samples taken, 12 hours apart. And then or three or more separate blood cultures taken. How many hours apart? Uh, 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 hour. Six hours. One one, hour. one, one, one. Okay, can you please tell me what are the common organisms that can be found in case of endo infective endocarditis? Viridin uh, uh, streptococci, staphylococci, yes. and uh, and uh, and uh, intercocci and uh, good. Uh, and HASIC okay. group. HASIC All right, group. Good. All right. What are the signs that you'll find on the hands of the patient? Hand of the patient is the uh, Oslo node genital lesion, splinter hemorrhage. Very good. And All right. What are the different types of infective endocarditis? Yes, uh, rheumat infective endocarditis due to microorganism. Infective uh, rheumatoid arthritis causes the infective endocard uh, endocarditis. Wait, then the Libman, Libman and, uh, and non bacterial, non -bacterial. Non -bacterial. marine, okay. marine, marine endocarditis. All right. Okay. Due to adenocarcinoma. Mm, there are two other types of uh, infective endocarditis. There is one native valve endocarditis and there is prosthetic valve endocarditis. What is the difference in between these two? A native uh, means uh, this is the biological valve of the patient's own valve and it is infected due to some infection like uh, a bacterial or rheumatoid arthritis disease damage the valves and the uh, artificial valve is valve is already implanted and blood flow it and uh, bacteria implanted on this uh, 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 valve and biofilm was made and what are the risk like factors a... which lead to infective endocarditis yes these are the congenital heart disease vsd asd and uh, diabetes mellitus uh, and uh, valve replacement and AIDS and malignancies. And these can you are the... please name few complications that can result uh, because of infective endocarditis? These are the cardiac and non-cardiac uh, um, uh, complications. Cardiac are uh, myocardial infarction and, uh, and? and the ascending aorta aneurysm and heart failure and uh, 
uh, and uh, non cardiac gluon nephritis stroke mesenteric ischemia what should be the management of ideal management of infective endocarditis Yes, uh, I will take IV fluids and I will after IV antibiotics after taking the blood culture. According to this, I will give the antibiotic. Mostly, I will give broad spectrum injection, ceftriaxone, vancomycin. And if the patient is not improved, then I will uh, discuss with the cardiac surgeon regarding valve replacement. All right. Okay, what type of valve can be used for the for the management of this patient? Uh, the type of... they, they, there are many types uh, metallic valve replacement or the biological valve replacement to for example for, for example, example uh, biological example uh, yes. uh, either patient's own valve cross procedure can be done or uh, human valve replacement can cow, be done mostly uh, cause cow okay uh, once there is uh, valve replacement has been done what are the precautions that you have to take uh, to um, check the uh, thromboembolism should be controlled anti thromboembolytic yes. dr drugs medicine management yes. okay what uh, is included in anti thromboembolic uh, management tablet Tablet warfarin will be given after starting the heparin and then convert to warfarin tablet. Okay. INR is kept at what level? Two to three level. Two to three. Two to three. All right. Okay. Can you please tell me if you'll consider rheumatic heart disease, heart disease then what is the criteria that you would keep in your mind? The uh, criteria, that is the same. The uh, Duke's criteria. Duke's criteria. I will, uh, I will check the, the valve involvement is which type Duke's of valve involvement. Either Duke's was for uh, that one. Here you have to. What is John's criteria? If you can tell me. John's. John's. I know. Don't know John's. Yes, you have to tell me the John's criteria uh, in which you will tell me the major manifestation, minor minor manifestation. Then, uh, all right. Okay, we'll. Come to what is the pathogenesis of rheumatic heart disease? A rheumatic heart disease uh, pathogenesis. vegetation. You yes, tell pathogen. me the gross and microscopic findings, please. Rheumatic heart disease, uh, in which uh, there is vegetation that are uh, small to moderate are along the line of the valves and uh, maybe the endocardium that causes sclerosis to uh, uh, calcification and stenosis and and this stenosis causes a uh, uh, strain on the heart, it's for example, left heart, and it causes uh, uh, heart my, uh, hypertrophy and This is not doing right, yes. Hypertrophy and decrease output, and, and, and ultimately pulmonary hypertension will develop. Yes, at the end, but then you have to tell me how the fibrosis takes place. Fib how there is stenosis and insufficiency that leads to. So there are certain things you have to revise that again. Right. Uh, all right. Okay. If you are giving uh, just last question, please think uh, very carefully and tell me. Because you said you have to give the anticoagulant therapy in this case. What are the signs and symptoms that you have to look out for if uh, you have not given toxic dose of anticoagulant therapy to the patient? Uh, uh, toxic dose of anticoagulant, not give the toxic, but the patient uh, having the embolism, you are meaning? Uh, thrombus. How would you know? Yes. The patient has the thrombus. Uh, Does not mean thrombus, but then if there uh, there's an increased risk of bleeding or there is active bleeding uh, going on, or if there is raised INR, uh, or if there is deficiency of vitamin K, then how would you manage that? Yes. Uh, uh, then I will stop. So first of all, stop the tablet warfarin, give the injection vitamin K, fresh frozen plasma, and the prothrombin complex concent concentrate and IV fluids also. What is cryoprecipitate? One last question, please. Uh, it is the factor eight and the fibrinogen. All right, good.
Okay. Uh, so, madam, uh, you are telling the pathogenesis that uh, first the sclerosis, then lipid accumulation, then calcification, then stenosis. Uh, I should mention this thing. Pathogenesis then, is the how the disease occurs. Whole and then, have, then the papillary muscle. Aortic stenosis. Yes. They uh, asked about rheumatic heart disease. There rheumatic is heart disease. Rheumatic heart disease. I asked pathogenesis yes. of rheumatic heart disease. Okay. He was telling me about the yes. 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 Uh, yes, uh, I didn't just, uh, read the rheumatic heart disease properly. I didn't. I, yes, but yes, then I asked it should, it. Yes. Uh, because yes. it is one of the differential diagnoses yes. of infective yes. endocarditis, Gen and you have Jones to, criteria. Yes. 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 So you'll revise the Jones criteria, and then you'll oh. also revise the pathogenesis, because yes. for pathology, yes. pathogenesis is very important. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Oh, yeah.